All right, what's up guys? Mag is here. Today we're going to learn how to make a TPO in Sierra. This is the end result. So to start off, we're going to go to File, New, open a historical chart, click on BitMEX because that's the ticker we're going to be using. We're going to click F6, or you can also right click, and we're going to add a study. Type in TPO. It's going to bring you right there. Pretty convenient. Double click on it. Click Apply. We're going to wait for it to load. Now we're going to go into F5, the chart settings, and we're going to change the tick size from 0.5 to 10. Change the price format from 0.1 to 1, as well as I'm going to change the start time to 16. Problem is with daylight savings, this does change. You need to be mindful of that. Okay, now that we have our tick and our time setting all good to go, we're going to go ahead and go into the chart settings and start messing around with TPO. Okay, first things first, I'm going to change the block increments to 1. We are going to highlight the value area based on volume and make the point of control is also based on volume. We're going to extend the value area and extend the point of control. We're going to shade the blocks based off of time. We are going to make sure that it does not highlight the midpoint profile. Totally fine if that's something you want to use. I don't think it's necessary. Change the IB range to zero change the display mode to vertical bars and keep this set at 50 here then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for highlight the opening range right here which is going to go ahead and then display the ib right here we're going to change the time from five minutes to 60 minutes to our standard hourly initial balance and then lastly we're going to highlight the close of the profile okay now we can go ahead and go into the colors this is entirely up to you what you choose but I'm just going to use the same stuff I've been using more or less because I have it set to shade you need two colors for the TPO block so it can display time See if we missed anything here. I missed the close. I don't like that color. And that just about does it for all the coloring. There you go. That just about does it for the setup. We'll do a little bit of explanation for what everything is. The uh, orange center line. You can make it whatever color you want, but that's the point of control. And at the very beginning, we weighted it based off of volume. By default, the TPO bases it off of time. So we have a volume point of control. The extremes where it turns from green to blue represent the value area. So these green lines represent 70% of value for the day. And anything beyond that is a range extension. We have the initial balance marked off on the left here, the first hour of trading. There's a lot of strategies that can be developed around that. And then lastly, point out that we have the open and close marked for each one, the open in bright green, the close in red right here. That just about does it. Thanks, guys.